It's never been more important for us to recycle. It costs seven times more to process a bin of general waste than it does a bin of recycling. When you add up all the recycling bins in the borough, that's a huge cost saving that the council could spend on other things such as keeping the streets clean and targeting illegal dumping. So when recycling is contaminated with wrong items, it has to be added to the general waste, which costs us more to process. As well as cost, it's really important for us to recycle to meet our environmental goals within Enfield, nationally and globally, by shopping smarter, choosing green alternatives and looking at ways we can make things last longer through reusing, upcycling and recycling, we can make a huge difference. Recycling in Enfield is easy because we don't have to separate our materials. This means that paper, cards, tins, cans, plastic and glass can all go into the one bin, your blue lidded recycling bin. Cereal packets, just take out the inner bag, flatten the box and place in the blue lidded bin. And the same goes for any kind of newspaper, cardboard, general writing or copy paper. Clean glass, jars, bottles, tins, cans and plastic containers can also go directly into the recycling bin. Nappies and tissues go into the general waste and not the recycling bin. If in doubt, check our website at enfield.gov.uk forward slash bins. Don't forget though, loose food and liquids can contaminate your dry recycling, so always remember to wash out bottles and jars before you put them into your recycling bin. As long as all the food residue is gone and your items are dry, you should be good to go. So once you have clean and dry recycling, it needs to go directly into the recycling bin loose and not in any other bags first. So to ensure you make the most of the space in your recycling bin, make sure you squash cans, tins and plastic bottles and flatten all your boxes. Enfield residents have been recycling their food for over two years. Having a dedicated food recycling bin allows households to free up space in their general waste bin. It also gives us a chance to assess how much food we are actually wasting when we have a dedicated bin for food. Of course, there's no getting away from the fact that some of the food we buy is not edible and we will always need to dispose of it unless we're using it to make compost. So place banana skins, bones, onion skins, some stalks, etc. into the food waste caddy. But throwing away half a loaf of bread because it's gone mouldy or overripe bananas means that you have brought something with your hard earned money that is now sitting in the bin. And that's not good for the environment, but worse than that, it's not good for your bank balance. So there are a few ways we can get food smart and avoid wasting food. Storing food at the right temperature in the fridge will make it last longer. Not overbuying also helps to avoid having surplus food that could go bad. Freezing food like milk, cheese and fruit will often make shopping go further and keep it from spoiling. And you can find loads more info on the Love Food Hate Waste website. Last but definitely not least, here are some materials that shouldn't go into any of your household waste bins. Small electrical items such as hair dryers or kettles, batteries, textiles, shoes, hard toys and moulded plastic. Electrical items no longer working or needed should be taken to a recycling point such as Barrowell Green Recycling Centre or to a charity shop. Some electrical stores also take back smaller electrical items. Batteries can explode when crushed in our waste trucks, so let's keep our operatives safe and recycle batteries at Barrowell Green. But some supermarkets and retailers also have battery recycling bins in their stores. Shoes, clothes and home furnishings should be taken to a recycling point such as Barrow or Green Recycling Centre or if they're in good condition should be taken to a charity shop. They cannot be recycled via your recycling bin and will take up valuable space in your general waste bin. To ensure that we collect your bins every collection, please make sure your bins are put out by 6am on the day of collection and you know the right collection day for your street. That your black, blue, brown and green bins contain the right items and that the bin isn't too heavy. And please make sure that our crews have access to your bin. Make sure it isn't overflowing and rubbish isn't put next to it with the lid closed. Make sure your rubbish isn't tightly packed into the bins. And please note our crew do not lose some waste with their hands. If your bin is unfortunately missed, you should make a report for a missed rubbish recycling food or garden waste bin within 24 hours of your scheduled collection day. If there was no issue with your bin at the time of collection, once you have reported your missed collection, we will collect it within 48 hours. So I'm Councillor Rick Jewell. I hope you found this video interesting. I hope we've given you a lot of information about what goes in the right bins so that we can avoid leaving your bins by, the, by your door. Um, so I'm signing off for now. Uh, thank you very much for watching.